Early rising or early morning waking is when a little one repeatedly wakes for the day earlier than 6 a.m. It's often around 5 a.m. and somewhere between 4.30 and 5.30 being the classic window for early risers. Firstly, let me say it is not just the way your child is. Many parents say, my child's just an early riser, but no, we can get your little one sleeping soundly to at least 6 a.m. consistently. We just need to figure out the cause and address it. The number one reason for early rising is overtiredness. In fact, when a parent tells me their child is waking really early every day, I immediately investigate whether or not they're getting enough daytime sleep. If they're awake for too long between sleeps or if bedtime is regularly too late, that's gonna cause overtiredness. Most of the time, one or more of those things is the cause behind the early starts. And yet, that might sound strange and certainly counterintuitive because you'd think a tired child would sleep in, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Being overtired actually leads to shorter and less restful periods of sleep. And this is why it catches so many people out. The well-meaning grandparents are the first to offer the idea of wearing the child out or keeping them awake in the day so that they'll sleep better at night, but that's actually the worst thing you can do. So, have a look at your child's schedule. How much daytime sleep did they ought to be getting? What's the maximum amount of time they should be awake for between sleeps? And are they getting to bed at a consistent and sensible time each night? Fixing this up could be the cure to waking and, and getting them to a better wake up time just within a week or two. Other top tips for helping to reduce early rising include blackout blinds, sleep wake triggers, and how you respond. So stay tuned and I'll go through these with you. But I have to ask, how old is your early riser and what time are they starting the day? Let me know in the comments because you may be selected to receive a copy of my book, but you've got to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so blackout blinds. These are great because it's important to block out all of the natural light from your little one's room. Any form of daylight is blue light and that affects the production of melatonin, which is the sleepy hormone. In other words, it fools us into thinking it's time to be awake. If you or your child need some light in the room, go for a very dim red or amber colored night light, but keep the natural light out when it's sleep time. A sleep-wake clock or trigger is fantastic for teaching little ones when it's time to be asleep and when it's okay to wake up for the day. From around 20 months of age, a child can understand a simple trigger. Personally, I love the kids' sleep clocks, which have a little character on them who's clearly tucked up in bed or up in the daytime having the picture of that character to give the child a visual cue and that's great it's easier to understand than trying to teach them that certain colors or shapes actually mean sleep or wake time a simple light timer is okay too when when the light's off it's sleep time and when the light turns on it's okay to wake up the last key to managing an early riser is to have a consistent response to each and any waking in the night and to maintain this response until at least 6 a.m. when it's okay to wake for the day. If you allow your little one to continually start the day really early, this will become an ingrained habit in their body clock and it will just be a habitual wake up. We want to show them that it's still night time and not yet time to be up. I'll tell you now, when a little one is waking regularly at around 5 a.m. due to overtiredness, it is unlikely that he or she will actually go back to sleep. They're usually wired, but nevertheless, you need to keep going with your nighttime response until 6 a.m. whilst working on the other things to overcome the overtiredness. So a quick recap for you. Establish where the overtiredness is coming from and begin working on replenishing your little one's sleep tank. Prepare the room with blackout blinds and nightlight if needed and a sleep-wake trigger like a clock or a light on timer. And know how you're going to respond consistently to any wakings that happen before 6 a.m. Early rising can take a little time to resolve, so be patient and persistent and really consistent with your little one's overall sleep amounts to overcome this as smoothly as possible. 
If you found this helpful, please share it with a friend who might benefit from it too. We want to help as many tired families as possible. So be happy, be healthy, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag TheSleepNanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.